Science is important. It's not up to someone like me to explain to you why, and I'm not going to bore you with a long-winded lecture, but uh, it's obvious to you, me, and everyone that uh, everything in this world is uh, as a result of uh, science, mathematics, or engineering. So it's kind of had a huge impact on all of our lives, uh, whether we like it or not, for better or for worse. Now, uh, a growing trend in today's world is that uh, in recent decades there's been a drift away from authority and a drift away from trust in authority and whatnot and, and science uh, has taken a pummeling in that respect as well of uh, various uh, new schools of thought arising in recent years challenging uh, traditional scientific uh, views and viewpoints in the world. Now, in this age of uh, social media, uh, clickbait, instant gratification, and media manipulation, it's getting harder and harder to get uh, the message of science out there. And it's also getting harder and harder for the uh, person on the street to take the time to think about science when it's presented to them. Now, I encountered this personally myself uh, about a week ago. I was at an aquarium where I was being, uh, I was busy taking pictures of uh, you know, jellyfish and cuttlefish and all kinds of little beasties because that's what I like doing and I was listening to a tour guide nearby um, seemed like an otherwise nice guy telling a group of people that cephalopods are aliens say what back that truck up right first off uh, what's a cephalopod for those of you who don't know a cephalopod is a, uh, a creatures like octopuses squids cuttlefish uh, second how did the tour guide come to this uh, earth shattering conclusion Pretty way out there, right? I mean, scientists, uh, astronomers, and the like have been looking for aliens for decades now. You've probably heard of SETI, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, and I'm sure at least one of you out there has seen a movie with alien creatures in it or a TV show. Now, aliens have fascinated humanity for a very, very long time. Well, I can announce to all those scientists and astronomers and uh, all you believers out there that the search is over. According to this tour guide, Aliens have been among us for millions of years. I mean, cephalopods have been squelching around in our oceans for all that time. <laughs> the tour guide said so. But uh, maybe he was getting his wires crossed, possibly. Let's, let's look. A quick Google search uh, revealed uh, several headlines and search results. In all of these, you can clearly see triumphant declarations. Uh, octopuses are aliens, say scientists. Octopus genetic code is strange, so strange it could be an alien. Scientists declare that octopuses are basically aliens. Scientific breakthrough, octopus DNA is not from this world. And the big one, drum roll. Octopus DNA comes from space. Wow. Now, the tour guide uh, made a classic and all too common mistake. He grabbed the first outrageous headline he saw and ran with it. A close look at the headlines revealed that they were put up by nine scientists who are really interested in nothing more than grabbing people's attention and selling papers or getting ratings. Tour guide believed that octopuses are aliens because comets bearing alien bacteria came down and infected the earth long long ago. Now many of these articles took a single word used by the researchers involved in the original study which, you, which upon which these claims are based and are published in the venerable scientific journal Nature, if you want to take a look, and have used it as the basis for some truly outlandish claims. First off, that octopuses, or octopi, whichever you feel is the correct um, terminology, are unrelated to any other life form on Earth. This is totally wrong. Every living thing on Earth is related to every other living thing on Earth. I'm related to dogs, cats, chimps, elephants, platypuses, emus, dinosaurs, giraffes, donkeys, fish, goldfish, snakes, you name it, I'm related to it, and they're related to me, and so are you. Humans and their closest relatives, uh, chimpanzees, are an obvious example of species being related. How close? Well, in fact, there's only about a 2% difference between uh, the DNA of humans and chimps. But, that sounds pretty close, but, um, only about 10% of our DNA separates us from bacteria. The rest of it is exactly the same. So, then why are researchers using the word alien to describe octopus DNA? Well, they probably did use it, but they're using it in the same way that the USA uses it to describe illegal immigrants across the border from Mexico. They're 
they're human, right? But they're just different, so they call it aliens. I mean, ET is not slipping across the Rio Grande to work in low-paying jobs in Texas, obviously. I'm pretty sure. Now, octopus DNA, according to the researchers, is weird and had some bizarre new features, so they call it alien in the sense that it hasn't, it has features not seen before in other invertebrates. These features are new and exotic, hence alien. Now, after all this, I personally think a tour guide should be fired because that's just me. I take this sort of stuff seriously. And um, truth is truth. Science is a search for truth. So, shoddy journalism and careless dissemination of complete nonsense to an unknown public can only harm society in the long run. If you have any thoughts on this, uh, pop up in the comments section down below. Um, just follow me on Twitter, drop me a tweet or direct message. Um, I am keen for a debate on this sort of stuff because I like to take it seriously and it's uh, of interest to me. And I'll absolutely love to hear from you, so um, don't forget to click on my other videos. Um, it's subscribe to Ben's Lab, and um, see you next time. Yo.